Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do your post processing in OpenFoam and Paraview. In this, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do your uh, fundamental or the basic post processing in OpenFoam modes, uh, like how to save your uh, save and screenshot, uh, export and animation, uh, streamline time steps, and and some other uh, post processing uh, that you will see in the um, in the video. Okay, um, let's go to tutorials and find a good uh, problem for our tutorial. Uh, let, then go to incompressible. Then icofoam charity charity, and then. Copy this to desktop and paste. Okay. Uh, be careful uh, whenever you want to change a, a problem in tutorials. Uh, copy the main uh, um, files and folders so uh, and, and then change the folders because uh, you may need the uh, first and main problem later. Okay. Uh, here we go and we open in terminal right block mesh okay then icofoam which is the solver of this problem then parafoam okay. okay there we go it is our paraview Okay, uh, it is Paraview uh, and it's a software which uh, which we can do our post processing in open form. Uh, we come here and uh, we, uh, the, this is our um, components that we can uh, see what is going on there. Uh, this we have a U is for velocity and P is for pressure for this problem but if you have other uh, in your problem you uh, you will have more than these these two components okay let's uh, see you okay uh, this problem is a cavity problem uh, we have a uh, fixed walls uh, in left right bottom but the upper wall uh, has a velocity of I think uh, one meter per second. Let's change that. We go to here. You boundary condition. Yeah, it is the moving wall. It is the upper wall. Uh, has a velocity of one meter per second in each stretch, and others are uh, no slip. And this problem is two D. Let's close this window. Minimize this. Okay. Uh, the first part, uh, in the first part, you have to know that uh, if you want to see the uh, next time steps, you come here and play it. And there we go. It is our uh, velocity in uh, zero point five time step. Or you can. Go to first zero and do it one by one and just uh, the next part is about the color of this problem. Uh, if you want to change it and most of the time we change it because it's not a good um, color to see the uh, parameters. Okay, we come here. If you don't have this task, uh, let's do this. You come here and you click on this. Then we come here and choose present. The best uh, color is jet. And apply, close. There we go. Okay, we change. Then let's see the streamline, stream tracer here. Uh, Click on this, then apply. Okay, it is our 
velocity and stream lines it's a bit a lot let's change it it is you both we come here you can uh, change the direction but you will lose some space but the best part is in this way so you can have all the streamlines and uh, by this uh, by clicking on this uh, you can uh, hide or unhide the, uh, this line yeah i unhide it and or you can uh, give a, a component uh, you can give a number to the uh, to this line uh, by uh, by right um, or you can uh, give give a number to the line uh, how to uh, put this line in the problem uh, for this problem it's a good one uh, but for your problem you can change it and do whatever you want and uh, we come to resolution and we decrease the number to 500 then we apply it's a bit a lot again 200 apply now it's a better option we click on this as you can see it is our streamlines the top wall is a moving wall at the bottom and left and right walls are fixed walls and as you can see we have a cavity here as the problems names was cavity and this is for the cavity as you can see there is no seam line here uh, okay let's delete this one and let's go to next part Scully. apply by this uh, you can see the vector of velocity okay. uh, orientation array you have to choose u it is for velocity then apply and uh, then we come here and we click on this to hide that one so this we have this and scale array let's decrease the numbers as we did for streamline we put it to 100 apply it's a bit low 300 is a good option okay as you can see uh, our vectors are completely visible in the problem uh, the red one is uh, has the uh, highest amount of velocity and the blues one have the lowest uh, velocity as you can see in this part uh, all the vectors uh, which are i know the zero and the highest uh, is one have the same magnitude of vector if you want to change it and uh, see uh, and uh, see the vectors which, uh, which have a higher magnitude have a bigger uh, vector uh, you come here still array and you click on u and then apply so as you can see the vector which have a higher amounts uh, has a bigger vector and and others have a smaller amount of vector okay and delete this part next part is for a slice what is a slice let's come here let's do it again uh, this is slice as you can see apply and uh, before apply uh, if you want to see uh, just uh, one part and a uh, surface of your problem you can go to slice and uh, see the slice uh, sometimes we just want to uh, see what is going on in the middle of our problem or in the last just in just some specific parts which are uh, in 
visible in the main problem. Okay. Uh, you can give a number to the to this. Okay. For example, uh, we have six uh, for the next year. It's for x, y, and z. Okay, then apply. It is the same. You can click on this and see the slides. Or you can have a clip which which remains the uh, some parts part of the body and removes the others. You can do the coordinates like like something here and and apply it is like this okay uh, and you can click on this okay to unhide this uh, we have a calculator here uh, you can do and uh, calculate and um, sometimes uh, I have a video uh, about a uh, how to calculate lift and drag force I used a calculator you can go and see that uh, video on my channel to see uh, how useful this part and, and part can be okay let's see how we can plot velocity over a line we click plot over line in this tab bar then now we have to see and now we have to choose our coordinates uh, uh, that in which point or line we want to calculate and see the velocity and let's uh, see the velocity over in, in y direction Each will be uh, okay, and yeah, this to zero. It is our line and I want to see velocity over this line from y equals 0 to 1 uh, to uh, 0 0.1 then we click on apply as you can see we have a chart here we come here there are some parts there are some uh, options for you that you can see the uh, components uh, you uh, underline magnitude is for magnitude of the velocity uh, velocity in each direction y direction or z direction or uh, pressure uh, we just want to see the magnitude velocity okay let's maximize okay. as you can see from zero to uh, 0 0.1 uh, the velocity is uh, is increasing by the in the y direction and the last the maximum is for uh, one is for one that it is the moving one so uh, now we are going to uh, save uh, to uh, teach you how to have a screenshot and take a picture of this problem you go to file save screenshot then CFD okay and this is the resolution it is the background you click on OK then we come to our problem let's see it's not a problem
as you can see it is our screenshot okay uh, the next part in item is for uh, saving an animation you go to file save animation then you come here uh, we choose a uh, OGV format okay and we write a name then click on okay it is a resolution and the background and other parts we click on okay okay our animation has been created let's come to desktop and here there we go it is our animation has been completed Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I tried to uh, see. I tried to teach you the most important uh, parameters in, in post processing. Uh, if you have any comments or uh, idea or opinion, please uh, comment uh, in our YouTube channel. I will read all the comments and try to answer all of them if you like this video please uh, like uh, click on like and uh, to see our future videos please uh, subscribe our channel